Now let's get to the major developments from Oxford. Tonight. Yeah, and, and let's start with some good news right now. The last yeah. remaining shooting victim in the hospital has been taken out of the ICU and moved to a standard room. The sheriff says she's going to remain in the hospital for four to six weeks for rehab. Meantime, cell phones and tablets belonging to the artist who may have harbored the Crumblies are being examined, though that is expected to take up to 10 days to complete. Uh, we're told that he is cooperating fully with investigators. And also today, the first lawsuits have been filed against the Oxford School District and staff. Jeffrey Figer is the attorney. He has filed two $100 million lawsuits on behalf of two sisters who attend the school. We bring in defender Sean Lay. Uh, Sean Figer says it's simple. The shooting should have been prevented. Spelled out in a federal lawsuit, Devin and Kimberly, and a state lawsuit. The federal lawsuit alleging a civil rights violation against the victims. The state lawsuit alleging that school officials broke state laws. The parents were also here today of one surviving victim. He was a homicidal threat. He had told them as much. He had written as much. He had drawn pictures of his plan, and he was allowed to carry it out. Attorney Jeffrey Figer bringing a $100 million lawsuit against those investigators say had contact with Ethan Crumley before last week's shooting. Oxford School Superintendent Tim Throne, Principal Stephen Wolf, Dean of Students Ryan Moore, two school counselors, and the two Oxford teachers, prosecutors say, saw disturbing writings and violent drawings from Ethan Crumley, but apparently sent him back to class. The suit filed on behalf of the daughters of Jeff and Brandy France. 14-year-old Bella France, an Oxford freshman, was with her sister, 17-year-old Riley, both standing with their friend, Hannah St. Juliana. Hannah was shot and killed. Riley was shot in her neck. That Riley and uh, um, Bella, along with uh, their friend who was murdered uh, and who was buried yesterday, were in, their, were in the bathroom. They exited the bathroom and they were shot down. Figer was emotional at times, saying school officials failed to act, failed to protect the victims. He does not expect them to face criminal charges. His federal and state suit designed to hold school officials accountable. But there's four that will never, as you know, get go home. And there'll be another visitation tonight and another funeral tomorrow. And something, something, something has to be done about it. Back here live in Southfield, very important to point out that we reached out several times today to the Oxford School District, the superintendent and the attorney for Oxford Schools to get the reaction to this $100 million lawsuit, both filed today. No response yet from the attorney or from the schools. Also, the parents you saw there with Jeffrey Figer did not say a word today. I am told they are extremely overcome with emotion, worried about their daughters, of course, and extremely angry at school officials. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you. In fact, Sean, this feels like just the beginning. There have to be other lawsuits in the works as well. Correct. We're hearing from other local attorneys who are also, they've been contacted by other families, surviving victim families, and also victims, uh, families of the victims that did not survive, uh, likely preparing lawsuits that will be coming very soon. Yeah. All right, Sean.